what's going on this is your boy kqkc boxing network and we working as usual first of all i need for you to hit that like button make sure you share this in all live streams with everyone on youtube if you can I come on Monday through Friday, and that's 11 a.m. Central Time. I will be on today, but I thought I'd talk about this for a minute. As you know, last Saturday night, Tan Bud Crawford came out with a six-round knockout victory over David Evanesia. Now, of course, we know that at that time, he had what we call a busted glove. Sparkly, the female referee, did the correct thing. Now, the correct thing is this. You stop all action. You take the glove and the fighter over to the commission, the Nebraska commission. And also, you take the glove and the fighter over to the commission in the sport of boxing, the WBO, and Nebraska. They all are pretty much... Uh, pretty much examine the gloves. Now, they was dumbfounded. They didn't know what to do. They was looking crazy. They was looking amateur. That's what it was. Now, I must take this stand. Now, I'm not going to put the blame on Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford didn't have anything to do with it. But as you see right in front of you, that outfit he have on, that was designed from one of the fighters on the, uh, 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 on the card. I believe the name Nelson. He designed that. So also, he's supposed to be this high fashion designer and a boxer. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That show goes together. But, Let's keep it going. The self-described leader, who uh, a, a professional boxer equipment, he turned around and admitted that in bungling the gloves used by Terrence Crawford in the last outing in the ring. Well, last Saturday night at the Shot Health Center, and this is right there in the hometown of Bud Crawford, Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. Now, he did stop David Amnesia in the sixth round. Now, one thing about it was that, and this is KQKC Belief, he could have got him out of there before then. Of course, like he tried to uh, 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 pretty much convince us that, oh, this is a tough guy. Oh, man, you never know. You don't have anything to lose. Oh, he's really tough. No, he wasn't tough, Terrence. Now, you got all, all the lower weight classes coming out at you. Blair Cobbs. Now, we know he's not one of the top of the top enchilat. You know, I mean, let's be honest. But he said he can stop your ass. Re reason why? You looked old. You look slow. You look like age has been working on you for the last four years that's not my words that's boxing scene 24 words so don't say kq said this instead that i'm just repeating what i read the eyes don't lie now of course maybe that's the reason why you duck terence crawford yes a duck it is a duck when you negotiate with another company at the same time when you negotiate with PBC. But you don't tell PBC. But you run back and tell BLK Prime. Allegedly. Let me throw that in there, okay? Let's make it look good, y'all. All right? Now, of course, we all know the company Everlast. Okay? Everlast has been around for a long time. Well, of course, 
as I said, Spark Lee had paused the contest because it seems that Crawford Everlast gloves had apparently burst open, revealing the padding. And now, when you have that happen, now listen to this, people. When your glove bursts open, the air of the pad and everything starts to sink, just like a balloon. When you let the air out the balloon, what happens? It goes all the way down to your knuckles. Besides stopping the action right then and there, as the rule states, they continued on to the end of the round. But guess what? It wasn't going to be no end because he knocked him out. Now, I'm not saying it's Terrence Crawford's fault because they allowed him to go head on and continue on and he knocked him out. Basically with fresh knuckles. Basically with bare knuckles, really. Hell, UFC, hell, they gloves is pretty much was uh, 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 more blowed up than that glove. It was just like a flat balloon. Now, these are not my words. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Now, in the broadcast of the fight, and of course, Antonio Tarver. Yes, Antonio Tarver, they always got some dumb shit to say. Where you all, uh, the haters, always believe that the Hall of Famers are the experts. No, the Hall of Famers just are people that came before these fighters got knocked upside the head and they lasted so oh wow they're in the hall of fame because the shit that Antonio Tarver say it just got to be asinine and you too Roy Jones I know that's y'all hero I know that's y'all hero but your hero talking like a zero how about that because sometimes the old fighters they get a little bit jealous why because they couldn't make the money that the young fighters are making that's why now, I do agree they should have been making the money because they had put their life on the line just like these fighters are. But old fighters, I'm talking about I'm going way back. Come 50 motherfucking six years old. I'm going way back. Yes, they were fighting for food and rent and things like that. And the promoters was robbing them. Just like some I'm doing today. You know what I mean? I'm not going to mention no name. Just say T-R. Okay? Now, as I keep moving the motherfucker on now now of course uh, uh Sparkle Lee directed Crawford over to the side as I said where the members of the local commission were seated below and asked him to take a look at in the broadcast of the fight it appeared that both gloves was affected see see this is what kills me it's not affected it was torn it was torn it broke apart with the thumb portion of the uh, of the right glove totally burst open. Many other commissioners appeared. Listen to this. Many other commissioners appeared befuddled. In other words, they appeared stupid. They appeared inadequate and unsure on how to proceed. Dumbasses don't know the rules and regulations. It take a content creator like me to do my research and tell you what the rules and regulations are. Now, after the fight, speculation testified after the user uploaded a photograph purporting to the show Crawford Damage Gloves. Noted trainer and glove manufacturer Rush and Bird questioned the for our legacy of the photograph because it appeared to him the gloves in the photograph were not new according to the rules of the Association of the Boxing Commission. Now, let me tell you something about this guy. All right? Now, when Fury, when Fury gloves came out and how they was pretty much damaged all the way to where he got the knuckle part all the way down almost to the wrist part. But he didn't say nothing about that, did he? No, he didn't. And shout out to Blue Blood Sports because he did mention that. Now, I'm going to keep going. I am going to keep going. Now, of course, Avalanche wrote this. As the leader in professional boxing equipment, it is ever more important 
that we ensure the necessary steps are in place to review our product, develop process, and the integrity of our gloves. This process includes close scrutiny of all materials used and construction methods employed in the production of our professional competition gloves. Our top priority is to ensure that every fighter who uses our product has a safe and secure experience. Now, of course, uh, that's just like um, control or <coughs> bullshit. But regardless, we cannot put that on Terrence Crawford. Now, of course, you know, I'm a Charlo fan. Of course, you know, I believe that Earl Spence will be Terrence Crawford. Of course, you know that Terrence Crawford, I know that Terrence Crawford ducked Earl Spence. We could have had the biggest fight. We could have had the biggest fight in this decade, but he walked away from it. Now, I'm not going to get into how much he got paid and if the fighters got paid and things like that. I'm not going to get into that. Why? Because I don't know. That's why. I just don't know. And I'm not going to put no bullshit out here for my fans and for my subscribers. But I will say this. Terrence Crawford, Saturday night, did not help his career. It did not help him not one bit. Matter of fact, it hurt him. Not, you know, had nothing to do with BLK Prime. It hurt him as a free agent. Now, you think you're going back to the negotiating table? Yeah, okay. Now your ass is worth less. You could have made more, but now you are worth less. Because, first of all, they seen how you fought. They seen how slow you was. They seen that age is starting to sneak and creep on your ass. There you go. Now, one thing I can say. Yes, he does help out his teammate, make sure everybody eat. But Earl Spence does the same thing. And he does more than that for the city of Dallas. Now, just, just keep it like that, all right? Everybody want to brag about what Terrence Crawford do. But, hey, let's keep it 100. Because we know the level of competition that you fall and how you look Saturday night. You might well keep your ass going. All right? Don't even get off the highway. Stay on that bitch. Because if you're going to make a spin around the block with Earl, trust me, he got the upper hand. Now he got the double upper hand on your ass. Now, once again, I am KQ. KC Boxing Network. If you like the content of this video, Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment below. Because, see, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from my subscribers. I will be doing more videos in the coming month of 2023. We got a lot of fights coming down the pipe. We got one coming this Saturday. And you know I'm going to be on the call. That's right. And I will be live today at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time. Today will be a call-in show. You can call in and talk about anything, anything in the sport of boxing. The lightweight division. The heavyweight division. Speaking of heavyweight division, they said you were moving like a heavyweight would move. They said you were throwing punches like a heavyweight would throw. Now, that's not my words. Once again... This is Boxing 24 words about Terrence Bud Crawford. There you go. There you go. Once again, I will be live today, 11 o'clock a.m. Join the channel. And also, right down there below, right on the right side, it said thanks with the dollar sign. That's the way you can support this channel. To make sure that this channel get upgraded into a more, more better than what it is today. And also, not only for me, for all the content creators. 
Show your love, because it's not easy. It is not easy to do this day in and day out. You know me, KQKC. I would go on a 12, 13 straight day stretch, baby, before I take a day off. Oh, baby, it is on tomorrow. We got Frank Martin, yes, sir, versus none other than Michelle Rivera. Let's get it popping, baby, all right? I am KQKC Boxing Network, and I greet you with the ancient word of peace. Assalamu alaikum, and I greet you, yes, sir, to have a good day. And salam salam. Hamdu Allah. I am out of here. Peace and love.